Hi everyone, it's Taylor here, and I want to share with you how I created this card using our Pretty Posies background stamp, along with liquid watercolor and our sea salt ink. So I have our sea salt ink pad here. This is a hybrid ink, which means it's waterproof. It is also Copic compatible and it stamps in this very light gray color. So you can see that down there on my misty grid paper. I'm just putting a little piece of adhesive in place because I will not be able to use my magnet to hold this cardstock in place. So that adhesive will hold my cardstock down. I'm using watercolor cardstock which is smooth on one side and textured on the other side. I am stamping onto the smooth side. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink that stamp up really well with the sea salt ink. And you can do it more than once if you have trouble seeing that very light gray line. You can always ink it again and put it right back down. But you can see how that shows up there on the cardstock and that's going to give us the template for our watercoloring. I'll be using four different colors. I have our new raspberry sorbet, peaches and cream, spearmint, and then previously released pea pod. With the three new colors, those are designed to match a pastel color in our collection. So they are already fairly diluted in order to get that nice light pastel look to match the cardstock. So I'm just going to drop a few drops of each of those colors into my ceramic dish here, maybe two or three drops to complete the majority of your project. You can always add more if you need to. Now when you get to the pea pod, what you'll need is two separate wells. That's because the pea pod color is quite a bit more intense than these other colors. So we're going to want to have one well that's undiluted and one well that is diluted with water. So I've put a couple drops into two different wells and now I have my eyedropper. I'm adding three drops of water to one of the wells. So that will be my diluted color and I will explain a little bit more when I get to that point. So now we are ready to start painting. I have my detail water brush and that's what I like to use. You can use a paintbrush. There are of course many, many other ways you can do this. I am just painting right over the top of that sea salt ink. And you can see that the ink, it actually enhances the color of the, the watercolor. So it is taking and making that more intense. And in the places where there is no ink, it will fade out the watercolor. So as long as you're getting your watercolor down onto the general area of where that ink is, it's going to basically highlight the color um, of the watercolor that you're putting down. So if I go ahead and after I finish this little bit of spearmint leaves that I'm doing here, I will show you a little bit closer on the camera so you can see there are some spaces in those leaves where the ink did not touch the cardstock and those have stayed pretty much white. So that is how you get this watercolor look with the sea salt. It's what I like to call kind of a cheater effect with the watercolor. And it makes it really easy to just add that color. I start dark in the center and then as the water from my water brush continues to give water out, it gets lighter towards the outside of that flower. Now I might want to grab just a little bit more color to fill in that center part. But the spaces where there is no ink on the cardstock, those are the spots that look white. And the spaces where your watercolor touches the ink are actually more highlighted. Now I'm going to show you what I did with the diluted versus the undiluted pea pod color. So I'm starting with the diluted color here and I'm going to paint along this branch. I don't want to be too intense with my first pass through, which is why I'm using that color that's been diluted with the water. I'm just very lightly going over those branches and you can see that the spaces where the ink has touched the cardstock are highlighting when you touch them with the liquid watercolor. So you can see how that turned out with just one pass of the diluted color. Now I'm going to go in and take just a little tiny bit of that onto my water brush. I'm actually painting it up onto the top of the ceramic so that I can get even less of that color. If you really dip your brush into that intense color, you're going to get more color than you bargained for. So I've added a little bit of the intense color and now I'm coming back with a clean brush with just the water in it to kind of allow myself to get a little bit better blend and not quite such an intense portion of that green.
So now you've seen me paint with each of the colors and I'm just going to go ahead and show you in a sped up motion how the rest of this project came together. Now that you've seen the color go down onto the project, I want to show you our liquid shimmer. This stuff is amazing. So it's basically shimmer in a bottle. You can add it to any of the liquid watercolors and mix it in with the watercolor, or you can paint it over the top of watercolor that you've already painted. So what I like to do is dilute it slightly. I have put two drops of the liquid shimmer in with one drop of water and you can see the light there is catching those bits of shimmer just perfectly. And I did go ahead and paint over the entire project with that liquid shimmer to give it a beautiful shimmery effect. And now I'm just gonna add a simple embossed sentiment in the center of my watercolored panel. I have a sentiment from our Words of Faith Easter set along with our rose gold embossing powder, which is one of my favorites, and it really matches the beautiful peaches and cream in the watercolor. So just heat that up and you have a lovely embossed sentiment with your watercolor panel. I hope you learned something new and you can check out our Pretty Posies background along with our sea salt ink and liquid watercolors at tailoredexpressions.com.